Howdy. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to find the distance between, in this one particular, two lines. But I'm going to break this up in a two-part series. I'm going to talk about how to find the distance between any two objects out in three-dimensional space. I don't care if it's two lines, a point in a line, a point in a plane, a line in a plane. I, I don't care. What's going to happen is, is if you follow these three steps that I'm going to give you, I don't care what objects you're looking for uh, to find the distance between, it'll work every single time. So let's go at it. So the first thing that I'm always going to do whenever looking for the distance between two objects is I'm going to find some vector A. And what vector A is going to be, this is going to be a vector from object to object. What I mean by that is if you have a point and a line, you're literally just going to find a vector from the point to any point on the line. If I have a point in a plane, you're drawing a vector from a point to the plane and so forth. So vector A is you need to find a vector from one object to another object. The next thing you need to do is find a normal vector N. And what N is going to be, this is going to be a vector that is perpendicular to an object. So, uh, either a vector perpendicular to the plane, a vector perpendicular to a line, or so forth, you're just going to need to find a vector perpendicular to an object. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to find the scalar projection of A onto N. And if you remember that scalar projection, that's going to be A dotted with N divided by the magnitude of N. Okay. And I have to put, I guess I have to put absolute values around this. The only reason I got to put absolute values around that is because sometimes the scalar projection might be negative. And that's okay. You just can't have a negative distance. You could have a negative displacement, but you can't have a negative distance. So let's say your scalar projection comes out to like negative 10. Well, that means your distance is 10. So let's go ahead. This will be a two part series. I'm going to do one. I'm going to find the distance between two skew lines. And then after that, we're going to uh, do a second problem. Um, I believe it's a point in a plane. I gotta look. But let's first find the distance between two skew lines. So what I've got is we'll call this line L1. And I'll call the second line L2. L1 and L2. Okay. So step one. The first thing I need to do is to find a vector, vector A, from one point of the object to the other object. So I'm gonna call this vector A. And what we need to do is we got to pick two points on the plane, right? And so uh, for L1, I'm going to pick a point. We'll call that R0. And then for L2, this will be at S equal to 0. What I need is I need these two points. And when I plug 0 into my first line, into L1, I output the point 1, 1, 0. Then, when I plug 0 into S, I output the point 1, 1, negative 2. Now, um, remember, these are points, not vectors, okay? To find vector A, you do tip minus tail. You'll output the vector. Uh, doing tip minus tail, 1 minus 1 is 0. Then 1 minus 1 is 0. And negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. All right, so here is vector A. The next thing that I need is I need a vector N. And vector N is a vector that is perpendicular to an object. Well, if I have two lines and I want to find a vector perpendicular to that, what I can do is I can cross the two slopes. To find N, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the slope of line 1 and cross it with the slope of line 2. Now what is the slope of line 1? The slope of line 1 is, remember, that's the numbers that's being multiplied in front of the t. And so your slope for line 1 is going to be 1, 6, 2. So 1, 6, 2. And the slope for line 2 is going to be the slope or the vector 2, 15, 6. It's going to be 2, 15, 6. And so to find my normal vector, you're going to go ahead and cross these two points. So we're going to go ijk. Like I mentioned earlier in 
previous videos, you're going to be cro doing a lot of cross products at the beginning and a lot of cross products at the end of uh, Cal 30. So be very comfortable with cross product. So let's see, with my I, I'm going to have uh, 6 times 6 is 36 minus 30I. Then for my J, so I'm going to have 6 minus 4. And for my K, I'm going to have 15 minus 12. And so my N is going to be 6. And then here, 6 minus 4 is 2, but there's a negative in front, so negative 2. And then here, 15 minus 12 is 3. Here's my vector N. Cool. Now that I have A, now that I have N, last thing you got to do is the scalar projection of A onto N. And so your last step, scalar projection of A onto N, this is going to be A dotted with N, and so dotting these two vectors, you're going to have 0 times 6 plus 0 times negative 2 plus negative 2 times 3 divided by the magnitude of N. And the magnitude of N is going to be the square root of 6 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 3 squared, which on top, negative 2 and 3 times 3, that's negative 6. And then on bottom, this is going to be 36 plus 4 plus 9. Hey, we know what that is. We know all that's 49. And we know that the square root of 49 is 7. And so your distance, your final answer, like I said, this is a negative number, and scalar projections can be negative. That's okay. Your distance can't be negative. The distance is the absolute value of that. Your distance is 6 sevenths. So join me in the next video, and I'll do this again, but I'm going to use the exact same three steps. I don't care what your um, objects are, as long as you find vector A, vector N, and do the scalar projection. It'll work every single time.